Hey guys. All right, so the show called The Act. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever heard about the show. If you haven't heard about it, you need to know about it, okay? This show has had my attention for the past eight weeks, okay? It, it, it's so, it's so freaking good. The story that they told was just amazing. The, well that, the way that it was written, the way that it was directed, the actresses who played the two main characters, they deserve a nominee, an Emmy, an Oscar, a BET award, an MTV award, any award at this point. They deserve some recognition for, did I say the right recognition? Rec recon recognition? <laughs> they need to be recognized for the roles that they played in this show. Okay, like this is how good the show was. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, so if you don't know what the show is about, um, it's on Hulu, it's streamed on every Wednesday, on every Wednesday on, on Hulu. If you don't have a Hulu account, you need to get one. If you broke, then ask your friend for their Hulu account, okay? So it was about this girl named Gypsy, Gypsy Rose. Um, she grew up thinking that she had all these disabilities. She couldn't walk, she couldn't uh, swallow, she couldn't eat food, she had cancer. All right, all she had, and it was many more. She was going blind, okay? And then it turned out she didn't have any of these, these diseases. Her mom was putting things in her head and making all this up and telling doctors that she had these problems and she really didn't have any, any of these problems. Well, Gypsy Rose um, had her boyfriend come down to Louisiana and kill her mother. So Gypsy Rose is in jail for 10 years and the boyfriend's in jail for uh, life. But the story became so big because the mother had everyone thinking that this girl, that she was taking care of, this sick girl. She had celebrities donating any money. She had, they, she was, had a house built for them. A whole entire house built and funded for them. She had to pay nothing. No rent, no mortgage, nothing. Okay? So people were upset about uh, her mother, whose name was Dee Dee, lying to the media and, to, the, and their, to their neighbors about Gypsy having all these disabilities. There's nothing wrong with Gypsy. Nothing at all. Oh, the girl can walk, the girl can eat food, solid. You know, the mother got the feeding tube uh, implanted in her own daughter. And the show was just so good, and I'm trying to sum up this uh, review because I don't like doing uh, more than 10 minutes on uh, any topic because one, I don't have time for all that, and two, I don't have time for editing, and three, I look, I'm busy, okay? I have a life too. I want to express my uh, interests with you guys about the show. Ever since the show came on, I've been watching documentaries like almost every other day. Every, I think every Wednesday, when I after, I after I got done watching new episodes, I went online to see if there was any new documentaries about Gypsy Rose because I just want to know more information. I have so many questions after the show. I need a reunion show, Hulu. I need a reunion show. Are the neighbors, did the neighbors, the her the neighbors that she was close to, do they forgive her at some point? Have they seen her in prison? Um, are her and her boyfriend still together? Like, are her, do her and her father, are they close now? Like, I need answers, Hulu. I need a reunion show. Hopefully there's a reunion show coming on next week or in two weeks or in the making because I, I, need, I have, I have uh, questions uh, that needs to be answered. But um, this show is so good. The, uh, Patricia Arquette, who played Dee Dee, you deserve, and like I, I swear, and every time I look at you, Patricia, like I'm gonna think of you as Dee Dee. And the young girl who played uh, Gypsy Rose, I don't know your name, but you did a phenomenal job. I don't know who, like casting was so on point, so on point, guys, so on point. The show, the show is actually more comical to me. I have a sick sense, a sick sense of humor. I mean, there's some things like there's just, just like I can't believe they're doing this. Like when Gypsy Rose told the boy to eat her out, like I was like, what the world is going on? <laughs> And then after the boy killed the mother, he had sex with Gyp Gypsy Rose, and like in 30 seconds he was done. He 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 had came, okay. And after he had inserted her, her, his penis in him, and he said, "Welcome to your new life." <laughs> this show is so. <laughs> they nailed the they nailed the weapon that they murdered the mother to their house. Uh, they had sex in the movie theater. I mean, look, I, I I giggled. I can't lie. The show was just crazy. I feel like each week. I just was just like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> and then I felt guilty. Like, I felt like I should turn it off because I know that the two actors aren't kids, but they were playing kids and they were like having sex and having phone sex and having computer sex and she was masturbating and he was masturbating. And I'm like, I'm going to be on like on the child predator list for watching these scenes. Like, I was like watching like cringing because I didn't know. Like, I know they're not kids, but they're playing kids. And I just felt like... Like, oh my God, I'm about to get arrested. I'm about to be put on the child molestation list <laughs> for watching kitty porn when I'm not watching kitty porn. Uh, I, I, this show was really interesting. Very, very interesting. It's, I feel bad for Gypsy. You know, there's a petition out to free Gypsy. She's in jail for 10 years. Now, do I believe that she should be in jail for 10 years? I do believe she should be in jail for 10 years. I, this is the reason why I think that she should be in jail because she had someone else kill her mother. If she killed her mother herself, okay, maybe she shouldn't be in jail. But you have another person who's involved in killing your mother, which means that person's in life for jail. 
it would be unfair if your boyfriend, if the boyfriend went away, uh, went, if he did jail time and Gypsy Rose did not. You know, that would be unfair. So understand why they gave her some jail time. Now, 10 years is a little bit too much in my eyes. I would think maybe four or five years. Um, I think she's been in jail for about four years, five years now. I think this all happened in 2015. So I think she's been in jail in four, in, uh, in four, in, uh, I think she's been in jail uh, for four years now. So maybe uh, she will get out. I know there's a petition. There's a rumor that Kim Kardashian is going to represent her. I don't know how true that is. Um, but there's a rumor saying that Kim's going to represent her to get her out. I think she does. I think she did. Four years is, is long enough. I think she deserves some freedom. I just feel bad for the poor girl. This is her. She looks good. She looks really, really healthy. Her hair, she looks very, she's very beautiful to me. She's very, very beautiful. Her mom had her looking goofy and stuff earlier, like her younger years. Um, but her mom lied about her age. The Gypsy is the same age as me. She's born two months before me. I'm 28 years old. We were both born in 91. She was telling her mother that she was like five years, six years younger than what she really was. So Gypsy thinking, Gypsy's 24, Gypsy's 24 years old, thinking that she's like 16, 15, trying to pop lock and drop it like a 15 year old. Like she, she didn't know that she was an adult. Like it's just crazy how this mother really, really put crazy things in this girl's mind. This girl's gonna have trouble growing up. She's gonna have trouble making friends. She's gonna have trouble making boyfriends. She's not gonna know really how to be an adult because all her life she was treated as a child. I've been watching so many documentaries about this girl and she's saying that, you know, she's, she, and she talks really well. She's using big words. Like she, her vocabulary is really, really expanded. Like I'm really surprised. She doesn't, she doesn't, she's not talking like a fifth grader. So she's saying that she's learning a lot in jail. She feels like she's becoming more of a woman in jail. And I, you know, and I believe her because of her, the way that she speaks, the way that she carries herself in interviews. I'm very, very shocked. Cause then, you know, the TV show, the act, she seemed like she was like a 10 year old. Um, so I'm very, very shocked how well uh, spoken this, uh, this girl is. Um, but I, I, I pray, I, I, I feel like she's not going to have a good life. I feel like she's going to be mistreated all her life. I feel like guys, she's going to pick the wrong guys. I feel like the guys are going to abuse her. I, I don't know. I, I hope that she lives a normal life, but I don't think she will. I don't know what type of work she'll do when she gets out of jail. I don't know where she'll go when she gets out of jail because she has no friends or family. Well, she does have her father, but they have a strange relationship. But I want to know if they gotten closer. I want to know if he will let her come live with him and his family. But he has babies himself. He has a whole new family. He has two little kids he has to take care of. So I don't know if he was going to let Gypsy Rose move in with them when he has two little kids that he got to be worried about. You know, she's an ex-convict. She's an ex-murderer. Is that a word, ex-murderer? She's a murderer. And so I don't know if you will let a murderer come in your house with two when you have two little kids yourself. I don't know how that works out. But I don't know where she's going to go if she gets out of jail. And what she's going to do for work. Because who's going to hire an ex-convict and, and an ex-murderer? You know? Even though O.J. Simpson, well, no, he's a football, football player, so he never really had to uh, worry about work. But, and what about, oh, Casey Anthony? She got work. Remember Casey, Casey Anthony? She killed her daughter in Florida. And I think that she got work. So I guess there is a job for everybody out there. I mean, even if she has to work at uh, the local Chick-fil-A, I mean, that's a job. But I, I that's not going to really uh, give her a good, uh, that's not going to give her good money at all. You know, she needs a she needs a good paying job that she can start a family with because she wants a family. She wants a husband and kids. And, you know, she unless the husband's gonna work like unless he's gonna become a nurse or something, you know, but I don't know. I just feel bad for her. Um, I don't feel bad for the mother. The mother was sick as fuck. She was crazy as fuck. She tortured this little girl. She made her think that she had all these problems. She used people for their money. She was crazy as hell. She killed her own mother. Gypsy's mother killed her own mother, was giving her drugs, poisoning her, making her weaker. This is sad. She went to jail for fraud. So her, she stole her grandfather's checkbook and was catching check. This woman was beyond crazy, beyond crazy. And I just feel so bad for Gypsy Rose. I really, really do. Look, I, Gypsy, her mom didn't really deserve death to me. Gypsy Rose should have just run away. She did it before years ago on the show. They had like an episode two. She met this 15 year old. I mean, she met, she was 15 at the time or however she was told she was 15 at the time. Met this guy at the local Comic Con. She fell in love with him. She ran away, but the mother caught up to her and snatched her back, told her to come home. But I, she should have did the same thing when she met this guy on the internet. Even though he was crazy as hell, this guy that she met on the internet, she had two different personalities. I forgot his real name, but his second name was Victor. Victor was the one who killed the mother. All right, he had two different personalities. He was crazy as hell. He wasn't smart. They both weren't smart in this situation. And they really should have hit up O.J. Simpson or Casey Anthony. Hey, how did you get, how did you get away with murder? Or Annalise Keating, um, if you guys get that joke. Probably not. But they, they were not smart in this situation. I feel like they could have gotten away with it. 
or they probably could have gotten they could they they probably wouldn't have gotten uh, caught as uh, close as they did. Um, if he didn't write on Facebook, I killed that bitch. I don't think that people would have noticed that she was dead. I, I I would say like a week or two or even a month. But they snitched on themselves. They made themselves so uh, guilty. You know, they both have mental issues. They both didn't know. She wanted to be free. And because the mother was this, I feel bad. She was giving her all these, she made her teeth fall out. Like she was, had, uh, she had all these doctors give her surgeries. Like the doctors should be sued as well. Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I, the more and the more I like watch about this, uh, about Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee, the more it just makes me question, like how did the doctors not question any of this? How does she have 150 surgeries and none of the doctors call CPS on this crazy lady? Okay, how, 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 how? It's insane to me. It's the most obscene, insane story I've ever heard. And it sounds so untrue, but guys, it's true. It's true. It's sad. It's sad. I would rate this show a 9 out of 10. Okay, the show deserves an Oscar. If you haven't seen the show, I'm telling you guys, watch it for all the college students who are about to enter summer vacation. It's only eight episodes, so it'll like nine, ten hours long, okay? If you have no life, you can watch it one day. If you have a life, then watch it in a week. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Every time I see Patricia Arquette, I'm going to think of her as Dee Dee. I, I just, I just, oh, I, I can talk hours about this show. It's crazy. The story is just insane to me. It's so fucking insane. I'm obsessed with Gypsy. I really am. Gypsy Rose. Feel bad for you, baby. I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna pray that uh, you will get freedom. I'm gonna pray that you will get your ha happily ever after, that you find your Prince Charming. You are engaged. I don't know who you're engaged to, probably a nut, but I pray that he's not a nut. I pray that he is he is a sane individual, that he has all his screws right, but he probably doesn't. Um, but I, I pray that you live a good, healthy life. I pray that you get out of prison. I really do. So the act uh, is streaming on Hulu. Um, all the episodes are on Hulu, so watch it if you guys are bored. I'm telling you guys I'll be interested in it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm letting you know, you will be interested. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're at it, look at my page and check out my other videos. Comment and leave your opinion on whether you agree or disagree with me. I look forward to talking to you all again. Bye guys. <laughs>